Hello, yes, it's that time again. It's uh, Ed's video blog for the GTG Warzone uh, store and site. Uh, this week I've got quite a few bits and bobs that have come in. Uh, we've got the new Magic the Gathering Deck Builders Toolkit. Uh, we've got some restocks and we've got some of the new expansions for Living Card Games. So uh, I shall move swiftly on to the first of the releases. Let's see what we've got. Okay, we'll start with Magic the Gathering. Um, the Magic the Gathering starter decks, in my humble opinion, leave a lot to be desired. I think as far as uh, just getting into the game and playing, then yeah, they're fine. But they, they really require a lot more to make the decks workable. Uh, I think uh, Wizards have tried to address this with this new product, Deck Builders Toolkit. And uh, I think this could go some way to helping uh, players fresh to the scene in getting Magic started. Let me tell you what it's got in these boxes. 125 semi-randomized cards uh, suitable for building several different Magic decks. Uh, so th they really are mixed. I imagine there's some core common cards. I don't think they're going to throw in uh, a lot of rares, if any, in these packs. I think they'll only be in the boosters, of which you get four. So you get four randomized boosters. And the boosters, I would suggest, come from the current standard block. Um, so no earlier than shards and of course probably no later than zandikar but you may get worldwake eldrazi and not again i really don't know till we open one up and we've only got four in stock at the moment so can't do that really um 100 basic land cards so if you recall when you first started playing magic how hellish it was to get the magic lands you needed unless you came to visit a store like us or some veteran player who uses lands to prop up tables uh, a new player will really appreciate getting that. There's a deck builder's guide uh, and it also comes with a box to hold your cards in. Now, it's not the quality from what I see of the fat packs uh, but it certainly looks good enough to do the job and it's full artwork so you know always nice. So they're in stock I think they're 16 99 uh, For Legend of the Five Rings fans uh, you have not been looked after uh, over the last few months since we moved here. We, we recently got the stock picked up for the Pokemon guys and we're doing the same for Legend of the Five Rings now, especially as Plague Wars, the new expansion, is incoming quite soon. So Celestial Edition starters are in stock. If you want to come and get a particular clan, do so quickly before the others jump in there. Uh, we also have the boosters and the boosters are on the same deal as we do for all the magic Yu-Gi-Oh etc so if you're playing a few games and you want to mix up your boosters and get the discount you can uh, Yu-Gi-Oh guys just sticking with the collectible card games at the moment Yu-Gi-Oh guys uh, we've got a little treaty for you we've got some raging battles and we've got some ancient prophecy so a little bit of old school for the Yu-Gi-Oh guys to get a teeth into uh, D&D players, uh, restocks, nothing new here, uh, players handbooks, uh, we've got players handbook 2 and 3 back in stock, so if you're one of our ardent D&D &D fans, D&D &D encounters night on Wednesday at Warzone, uh, you'll be interested in getting hold of those. Uh, again with the cards, but this time collectible card games, uh, we've restocked the Call of Cthulhu, living card game, and the Game of Thrones living card game by popular demand because we get asked for them a lot, but also because there's two major expansions come out for each. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the way living card games work, rather than like collectible card games where you'll keep buying boosters because you're after those saucy rares, uh, with living card games each month one chapter pack is released. It's an inexpensive pack and uh, normally about nine quid I think for the old style. I think the new ones are going to be a little bit dearer but they've, they've altered the, the way the cards are allocated. Uh, but the chapter packs contain all the cards you need to uh, increase the playability of each faction or house or clan or whatever is in your living card game. Um, with Call of Cthulhu, again, it's it's factional. Uh, with Game of Thrones, it's by house. So I play the Stark family in my living card game. And it just so happens that one of the new releases this week is the Lords of Winter for the... Uh, Game of Thrones uh, LCG. Now, these are the Starks. This is a big expansion for the Stark family, so I'm going to get lots of goodies for my particular house in there. Uh, these retail around about $23.99, and uh, that's mine. I'm having that. Uh, the other one is for, as I said, Call of Cthulhu, uh, Secrets of Arkham. These don't come out very often, so it isn't fantasy flight draining you of cash just to uh, exploit your delight in Cthulhu. Uh, and they normally do make an impact, you know, so it's worth getting. But we'll give you a review on that once we've actually played them. For now, you know that they're available. 
Um, we've also got uh, steps away from computer, then comes back. Uh, we've got the latest chapter pack for Warhammer Invasion. Very popular game. Uh, of course, of course, with the Warhammer license, why wouldn't it be? Uh, and this is the latest one. Finally, on the actual products, we've got restocks of Eldrazi, Zendikar, Worldweight. They're all back in stock, Magic players, so uh, this weekend's looking good. And then just a few things. Uh, we've got some accessories in, so sleeves are back in. The plain sleeves that we use uh, for tournaments especially, they're back in, Magic players, so uh, no more just making do with your tatty sleeves. Uh, War Machine, unfortunately the delivery has not arrived yet, but we've got a substantial delivery arriving today. I think of particular interest to the Cricks and Menoth players. Uh, we may also have some of the Hordes units uh, which are being brought in just to demonstrate and paint up because we're not actually stocking Hordes just yet. We will do it soon. Uh, this weekend, Friday Night Magic tonight, our first official Friday Night Magic. In fact, we had a visit from the lovely Tom from Wizards of the Coast this week, who was most impressed with our store. Uh, thank you, Tom, if you are watching this video. It was a delightful visit. I hope you'll give us more notice next time so that my guys uh, can gang up and beat the living crap out of your decks, which they will do. Uh, also, tomorrow, Yu-Gi-Oh! Standard tournament, tournament for Yu-Gi-Oh! We've got some good prizes this week uh, for both Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! We're doing the £20 gift voucher, which isn't really a £20 gift voucher. It's £20 that we're going to let you spend in our store. No one else's store, just our store. Uh, so, 20 quid. Uh, it's a random prize, so you don't even have to win to get that prize. And you can buy some of the sexy, sexy stuff we've got. What you can't buy is food, so no crisps, no pop with that money. Uh, but you can buy t-shirts, you can buy Games Workshop, you can buy Fantasy Flight products, uh, you can buy card games, anything you like that we retail, it's available to you. Uh, Sunday, uh, Magic the Gathering. In the day, we're hoping to re run uh, a Descent game, so if we've got four or five players who want to come and play a Descent, uh, get signed up on the forum straight away, because uh, it will make or break whether we're going to do that or not. Anyway, that's enough waffle from me for now. Uh, next week, hopefully more goodies coming in, and we'll reveal a little bit more about what we're going to do with regards to the website. Those who've been inquiring about War Machine on the website, I'm sorry we've not got all the products on there, but I've been very busy. There's going to be no additional products added this weekend, because Red Dead Redemption is out, and I'm going to be playing it on the uh, Xbox any free time I get away from the store. Sorry, uh, but from Monday I'm back in work mode and I'll make sure that we update the site with all the new stuff. Uh, and that's it from now. If you want to get in touch with me, you can email guys that game at live.co.uk. You can ask about any products you like. If you want to know anything about Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Legend of the Five Rings, Games Workshop, uh, War Machine, uh, just get an email out to me. You can also uh, go onto our site and buy items from there. And if you want to collect from store, there's an option to do that as well. Don't forget it's guys that game .co .uk. Uh, And that's it. Uh, hopefully I will speak to everybody next week. Thanks for watching once again. Don't forget to subscribe.